What's up guys, Bstanko6 with yet another video. This one's called TDC Visualize. Now, if you are a visual learner like I am, you could read PDFs and you could look at diagrams all day and you may not absolutely understand what's going on. Um, so in my experience and in my years, I am going to explain to you what's happening to your TDC as you're entering information. And I'm gonna try to go slow so you can see visually what's happening. So, um, Basically, your TDC is a, a triangle calculator, okay, and there are three sides to a triangle. In order to visualize what's going on, I'm going to try and do this as slow. So, the blue pill is my U-boat, the right here, and my red pill is the target. Okay, so I see a ship at 30 degrees with my periscope. I put my periscope crosshairs on the target. This is my first leg okay okay that's the first leg of your pyramid this particular line is actually infinite i'm not going to give it a range and i'll explain to you at the end of the video why range isn't important it's infinite so now that i have a line where the target is from my u-boat i need to figure out the second leg and that's going to be uh for sake of argument we're going to say it's got an aob of 45 okay we're gonna imagine that this ship is gonna cross us at 90 degrees okay so it doesn't matter you figure out the AOB however you want to so the AOB is 45 degrees all right so I now know that this ship is pointing at this direction from my boat okay but at this point in time here this is the second leg okay I'm trying to go slow because I know for some people they don't understand this second leg of the pyramid however the second leg is infinite is just like the first leg okay it's infinite well, we can't have that because our tdc needs to know at what point in time the boat will pass at certain you know intervals so let's say our ship is going seven knots I, these numbers don't mean anything i'm just putting them down for visual reference so this boat's going seven knots now the TDC can say, oh, hey, at this time it'll be here or here or here or here. It's now got a vector, okay? It's got a, a, a direction and a speed. That's called a vector. So the computer at this U-boat here now has an idea that at some point in time, the boat's going to be somewhere. All right. Now to finish off where it's, it's going to be at and how it's going to launch a torpedo and hit it, let's go to the third leg. All right, this is your torpedo speed, okay? Let me, get rid, let me get rid of all these little marks here. We have our vector. We need now to set our torpedo speed. You have slow, medium, and you have fast. And each one of these has a speed. They have a, a certain amount of time, all right? So when I launch my, or when I set my speeds, the gyro angle is going to set and it's either going to you know, shoot here or here or here. You usually see it in your gyro angle at the bottom of your uh, your uh, your uh, TDC, right? Here, let me see if I can't get bring this up for you. All right, right here. This is your gyro angle right here. Right, so after you set everything up, including your torpedo speed and what have you, this little arrow is going to show where it's going to launch at what what angle. And usually, what do we set it at? At zero, right? So we have the least amount of um, misses and, and problems. Let me get rid of this. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. So now, when I set my speeds, the U-boat or the TDC now knows where and what direction to launch that torpedo. Bam. Okay, and you get your explosion, right? We now have where the ship is according to the bearing. We know um, where the ship's going and how fast. So we have a vector. And then with the speed of the torpedo, we now can determine the gyro angle at which way it should go to launch that torpedo and hit this target. Now, I talked to you about the range. Range is not important. Okay, it, it doesn't have to be, all right, because it doesn't matter whether the boat, whether the ship here is right here or right here or all the way over here, 
as you can notice, it gets further and further away, and it keeps going at that angle. The only thing that's limited is the torpedo's steam or electric motors. So as long as it has any of those, that power, it will reach the target at some point, no matter how close or far away. All the range does for you is give you a time to impact. You know, it's supposed to be a little clock, sorry. It gives you a time to impact, and that's all it's doing. So now you can see your TDC is visualized. Okay, all you're doing is you're completing this pyramid, this little, this little triangle. Now that it's complete, we now know where to send our torpedo. I hope this helps you guys. Let me know how you like the videos.